And the next award is named after Bing Spear for accomplishment in the field of law enforcement. Bing Spear was this remarkable guy. He worked in the British Home Office. He was the drug guy in the British Home Office, and he was a cop. But he was also the guy who knew the name of almost every single active injecting drug user in London, every single one, and they knew his name as well. This was a cop who didn't see his objective as locking those guys up, but helping them. In this case, I'm going to ask somebody most of you already know, which is the head of LEAP, Neil Franklin, to give this award to the Seattle Police Department. Come on up. Kind of bright. How's it going out there, folks? Bright in more than one way. You know, back in the days of the gracious Chief Norm Stamper, a leap speaker, by the way, you know, the Seattle Police Department has had a focus on harm reduction, just like, uh, well, with Needle Exchange, like my hometown of Baltimore, many, many lives were saved just from that alone. Yeah, go ahead and clap. I mean, that's what we need to do more of around the country, and we need law enforcement to support that. Yes. True, honest compassion for those in danger and in need. You know, the groundbreaking Law Enforcement Assisted Diversion Program, known as LEAD to many of us here by the Seattle Police Department, you know, that's a that's a common sense law enforcement approach, uh, you know, to um, saving, literally saving the lives of low-level drug dealers and users. But I think I just said an oxymoron there. I said common sense and law enforcement in the same sentence. <laughs> and now we have marijuana legalization in Seattle, Washington, in the entire state in Seattle, Washington, and I don't think there's any other police chief and men and women of a police department, a police chief like Pujol, who would embrace this new policy change as well as it has been embraced. And this really, it really touches my heart, and I yearn for the day that when every police department across this country will see the light and become part of the solution instead of a major part of the problem. That said, Sean, where are you? Where's Sean? Sean Wickman's going to accept the award for uh, the Seattle Police Department. Sean, come on up. He had to do that, didn't he? So uh, I, I just want to start by saying on behalf of the Seattle Police Department, on behalf of Jim Pugel, our Chief of Police, and the men and women of SPD, thank you, um, it is truly an honor to be here tonight. And yeah, we've been doing some good things in Seattle. Uh, Chief Pugel's cornerstones, four cornerstones, uh, justice, excellence, humility, harm reduction, harm reduction for a police department of our size. These are things that we all stand behind. These are values that we have internalized and institutionalized in our police department. So um, LEAD, uh, you'll all be pleased to know, pilot program, many partners, many partners in Seattle wouldn't have happened without the work of many, has been expanded to every downtown neighborhood. So that's happening. And you know what they say, Belltown yesterday, downtown today, what's going to happen tomorrow? When I-502 passed, and it passed uh, by a generous margin in Washington State and uh, even more overwhelmingly in Seattle, uh, we looked at each other, we said, what are we going to do? 
Well, uh, we serve the people. We're a police department. We enforce the law. The law is changing. We embrace the law. And we wanted to make sure that everyone who lived in Seattle, who worked in Seattle, who sent their kids to school in Seattle's fine universities and colleges, and people who uh, took advantage of our uh, cruise ship industry to visit, that they knew exactly what our expectations were. Uh, my colleague Jonas Spangenthali, former uh, crime reporter and who now blogs for the department, wrote a little FAQ called Mara What Now? I hope you've seen it because almost 500,000 people have. It's been translated into Spanish and French and Russian and heaven knows what other languages. Um, at Hempfest, and I'll be real quick because I know I'm running out of time, um, the biggest protestival in the country, I think it's uh, 22 years in. Yeah, we wanted to be part of that conversation too. So uh, we showed up with everyone's favorite delicious snack, Doritos. Uh, <laughs> with little uh, stickers on them, letting people know, letting uh, festival goers know what the rules were and what our expectations were. So um, this is how we at SPD have embraced this law. Uh, we look forward to continuing our service to the community and setting an example for our partners in law enforcement across the country. Thank you very much. You know, in, in giving out this award, one of the previous award winners was the former chief of Seattle Police Department, Norm Stamper. And he, I think, was the first police chief I ever heard stand up. This was back in 99 or early 2000 and describe harm reduction as a moral imperative. And I know Norm sends his best, wishes he could be here. But then I was thinking about that other Seattle police chief. His name, Gil Kurlikowski. And the fact is, when he was up in Seattle, nobody was getting arrested more or less at Hempfest either. And he went up to Vancouver and checked out the safe injection site. He actually seemed OK. I thought about inviting him. And then I thought again. <laughs>